Hello everyone, it's been a while since we have plunged into the nostalgic cycle of old FIFA games. Surely we didn't forget about it, and today we're gonna talk about FIFA 14 and its wonder kits. And we'll see, did FIFA screw up by giving some generous advance? Traditionally, we will talk about the guys under 21 who could develop more than 10 points, and their basic potential was 86 points and higher. Press like if you love this rubric and write in the comments below if you played FIFA 14. And what was the most significant thing you remember from this part of the game? As for me, I remember it because of its endless scoring goals from crosses. Zakaria Bakali opens our episode. A 17-year-old winger from PSV was the main wonder kid of the game. He cost not so much, but could develop insanely. He could easily get from 73 to 93 points of rating and higher. That was a debut season in professional football for the Belgian in reality. Next week after his debut match for PSV, Bakali scored a hat-trick in the game against Neck. At that moment he became the youngest to score a hat-trick in Europe. The footballer was 17 years and 296 days old. Seems like the success completely blew Wonder Kid's mind. He didn't score that season anymore, and his career started to fall apart. Whilst other talents from PSV extended their contracts, Bakali decided to show who is the boss and didn't do it, explaining his decision with a lack of playing time. All in all, they stopped letting him play at all, and after his contract ended, Valencia picked him up. There he had a lack of playing time as well, plus he didn't shine quite much. Going on loan to Deportivo didn't change the situation. Eventually, Anderlecht paid for a guy a little more than 1 million euros and he plays in Belgian league right now. Well, shall we say plays. In this season, a 24-year-old Bakali appeared on the pitch only four times. His FIFA 20 card looks like this. As you see, even EA doesn't believe in him. His highest rating that he had in history of FIFA game series was 76. A 19-year-old Marquinhos from FIFA 14 played for PSG. The Brazilian with a rating of 78 could easily be increased to 98 and higher. That season he moved from Roma for 31.4 million euros. In his debut season he played in 32 games and scored 5 goals for Paris. The defender is still one of the key figures in PSG, and the money that were spent to buy Marquinhos totally worth that. In FIFA 20 his card looks like this. This rating is the highest for the Brazilian in the history of the game. Bruma from Galatasaray in FIFA 14 could grow from 75 to 88 and higher. An 18-year-old talent is a good example of a footballer who is great in FIFA and is not good in real life. At the start of that season, the Turkish club bought Bruma for 13 million euros from Sporting. That season he played 15 games and scored only one goal in all tournaments. After loan to Gaziantep Spor and Real Sociedad, Bruma had a great season in Galatasaray and Leipzig bought the Portuguese for 15 million euros. He spent two years in Germany and for the same amount of money he moved to PSV. In this Eredivisie season, Bruma played in 18 matches, scored 3 goals and assisted 3 times. In FIFA 20, a 24-year-old winger has this card. His highest rating was 81 points. A 17-year-old Anthony Martial from Monaco in FIFA 14 had a rating of 63 and could get 87 and higher. At the beginning of that season, the club from the Principality paid Lyon 5 million euros for the Wonder Kid. In his debut season for Monaco, a forward appeared 15 times on the pitch and scored twice. A year later, Manchester United paid for him a lot of money. With all the bonuses, Monaco earned 50 million euros for the young talent. Anthony still plays for Manchester United and is one of the key players of today's squad. In FIFA 20, he is more than great. That's how his card looks like. His highest rating was 84 points. Leon Goretzka was 18 in FIFA 14, and he played for Schalke. At that part of the game, the German could be increased from 69 to 86 and higher. Schalke just bought a young talent from Bochum for a sum around 3 million euros. He played 32 games and scored 5 goals in his debut season for Gelsenkirchen. In the summer of 2018, he joined Bayern as a free agent. In FIFA 20, his card looks like this. This rating is the best for the German in the history of the series.
An 18-year-old Brazilian Adrian in FIFA 14 played for Flamengo. With a rating of 70, he could grow to 86 and higher. This guy is another example of how EA are buying into the powerful hype that PR agents spread. Since he was 17, a Brazilian with a strong nickname Zico played for the first team of Flamengo. In the winter of 2014, he could get to Europe. Cagliari get Adrian on loan with a buyout right for 1.5 million euros. The Brazilian failed in Italy, playing only 5 matches. No one wanted to buy him. Later he went on loan to Leeds and Nantes. And in 2017 Adrian's contract with Flamengo finally ended, and he signed a new contract with European club. Although it was Jan from Switzerland. There he had the best seasons of his career. He played 38 games, scoring 14 goals. Now the footballer is 24-year-old and he is on loan in Avai from Brazil. Adrian's card in FIFA 20 looks like this. His highest rating in the history of the series was 73. Christian Bonilla from Atletico Nacional in FIFA 14 had a rating of 74 and could get 86. A 20-year-old goalkeeper from Colombia hyped up thanks to his win in the Youth America Cup. A 16-year-old guy entered a professional football and was one of the stars of Colombian Championship who had to have a great career. As it turned out, he spent a career at Homeland, going to Al Faiha for one season, where he missed 28 goals in 15 games. Now he's 26 and he plays for like with that. In FIFA 20 his card looks like this. His highest rating in the game was 70 points. An 18-year-old junior Malanda in FIFA 14 played for Zulti Wargem. A defensive midfielder with a rating of 71 could be increased to 86 and higher. Wolfsburg bought him for 1.7 million euros that season and left for one season in Belgium. Malanda started very good for the Wolves and considered to be a great talent. But he couldn't develop. On the 10th of January 2015, a Belgian died in a car accident. Car's driver where footballer was the passenger has exceeded the speed limit and due to the weather conditions lost control. The car flew over the fencing and bumped into a tree. Junior was thrown out of the car. According to the police, he died at the scene. CBS Krivertz from Genk in FIFA 14 was 16 and with a rating of 61 could grow to 86 and higher. Man City and PSV have been looking on this forward since he was a kid, but he chose to sign a contract with Genk. In that season, Sibe played in 13 matches and scored 2 goals. In the summer of 2018, Brugge bought him for 3 million euros, where he plays nowadays. Last season was the most successful for the 23-year-old Krivertz. In 32 championship games, he scored 12 goals and assisted 4 times. His FIFA 20 card looks like this. His rating right now is the highest for him in the history of the series. A 17-year-old Victor Andrade in FIFA 14 played for Santos with a rating of 67 that could grow to 86 and higher. The guy was brought from Benfica's academy, but when he was 17 he got back to Santos and debuted in professional football. In 2014 a Brazilian appeared again in Portugal club, but couldn't integrate there again, playing mostly for Benfica B. A high injury risk broke his career. He could make it in 1860 Munich and in Estoril. Now he's 24 and plays for Goyas at his homeland. His last FIFA card appeared two games before. That is all for today. Subscribe on Cyberball, ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. See you soon!